best midfielder no i'm actually going to give it to rodri uh you know he's like he's just the class of he's the only player i i think he can, who can be called absolutely and utterly world class on any single given day there is i mean kevin de bruyne is right there but kdb has injury issues and everything rodri is the the fulcrum of man city's uh, last three four years he's the he's the folk he's the glue, glue that sticks them together so he's uh, and he also has this ridiculous uh, unbeaten run which is still going on i mean I, in, unless you don't want to consider that real madrid thing like because it was a draw after all mm. but he for me has been the best player in the league for the last two two years and uh, he's um, he's yeah he's the best midfielder in the premier league right now declan rice still needs to go levels right now to reach at lord rodri's level because rodri is a pure six who can do everything that a number six can do declan rice is changing his position a little bit he's been the most improved player i think in the league um but rodri right now is the best homsi agree i mean yeah i don't think thinking rodri is i don't know how the ballon d'or people don't take rodri but somehow everybody with common sense we keep taking rodri fully agree i mean rodri is on another level but i want to shout out another player douglas luiz this season you know i have really enjoyed watching him this season just come up with really really important goals uh, i think he's had his best goal scoring season this year uh, very important for uh, aston villa right next to either tillemans or like whoever, whoever fucking plays douglas luiz is playing and yeah uh, just such he's he's such a good watch because he has a brazilian instinct i don't know if you've seen that ball that one of the assists that he's done this year like the ball like scores around the whole field and finds the player yeah 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 it's like yeah. odegaard is class what yeah. odegaard did against brighton something similar yeah like probably all, better that's like kdb levels like fully yeah. like that kind of ball and yeah he's been so good man for villa and you know if you're picking like And I know going best midfielder is a, is a little too much, but he was the most improved one that he was a mainstay in my FPL team too, and I've never picked like a CDM who just stayed <laughs> in my team ever. So yeah. he's, you know, I, I give it to Douglas Luiz just because you know Aston Villa have done really well, and I'm sure even Aston wanted to buy him for like sixty, seventy million at some point. Yeah, so I think it was last to last window when we did. Last to last, yeah. And I think did. I agree. Yeah, for me, it's it's Rodri. I think it's hands down, and I I genuinely wish that all of these you know awards are just not vanity you know like things for vanity purposes because it just doesn't make any sense that Rodri is not recognized for the the for his importance in the team. So yeah, big shout out to Rodri. 